Michigan Diver. Uh, today we've got a new tool that we're going to be looking at for this next year's rep diving season. This is the Chasing Innovations M2 ROV and uh, this is how it showed up. Uh, two parts to it. I believe this top piece is the electronic reel for the ROV and then the bottom unit here is the uh, ROV itself. So just wanted to do an unboxing video and show you what's all included with the M2 and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll open everything up. Comes pretty well packaged. Like I said this top piece here I believe is the electronic reel so we'll set that to the side and uh, we'll look at the drone itself. So this we believe to be is the drone from Chasing Innovations, it's the M2. Go ahead and open this up. So there you have it. Chasing M2 uh, underwater drone. Nice, uh, pretty sturdy case that it comes with. Go ahead and slide the sleeve off. Set that off to the side. There we go. We uh, have the 200 meter tether version. You can get it in the 100 meter uh, tether as well. So, looks like a little bit of paperwork here and some O-rings and a little bit of hardware. Yeah. Looks like a cover for your smartphone or tablet device to uh, help you see better in the sun. Interesting. This is the 200 meter tether and uh, you get it like this on the reel, a uh, manual reel and we also purchased the electronic reel which is in the other box that we'll show you shortly that'll help you wind this up. Figure 200 meters of tether is a lot to wind up by hand. And it looks like the charger for it. This allows you to charge uh, both the remote control, the drone itself, the drone battery, as well as the e-reel all at once. So it uh, does three uh, uh, charges all at once. So nice little charger that comes with it. And then this is the controller here, nice with the uh, mount for a tablet or a phone, uh, pretty standard controls like you would see on most of the ROVs, um, yeah, nice little piece. And then also in the top, looks like uh, also comes with a GoPro action camera mount. It's one of the things I was interested in. Kind of comes, it has accessory rails on the drone itself, and uh, this you can attach to it and use both the uh, 4K video that's on the drone itself, and then uh, also have an action camera if you want to capture other video as well. So that's on the top side of this piece. Go ahead and throw these pieces back in here for the minute. Now we'll flip it back over and the other side should be the drone. Nice, so here's the drone side. Comes with a nice chasing innovation towel to help dry it off. And 
this is the drone itself. So the interesting thing about this drone is that there are four motors, thrusters on this side, four thrusters, motors on this side. And uh, the advantage to this that they're saying is it allows for movement uh, in any direction. It also allows you to rotate and use the uh, ROV in any different direction that you want. Uh, it'll be very interesting. We've used the uh, uh, Open ROV Sulfar Ocean Trident drone in the past and that only has uh, three motors, three thrusters, two in the back and one in the center. And the difference there is in order to, to look at something you actually have to fly the drone in the direction you want to see. Uh, the Chasing Innovations M2 is a bit different. Uh, should allow us to stay stationary, rotate, uh, look down, look up, look at any angle we want. So really looking forward to, to seeing how these uh, eight thrusters or motors uh, work out. On the top of the drone, got a few uh, connections here. We unscrew this uh, first one. So this first one here has our SD card. Records right to micro SD card. This one comes with a 64 gigabyte card. So the nice thing is you get done doing your mission, recording whatever you want. You can come back up, just pull the card, put it into your computer and you've got the footage right away to view. So that makes it really nice, pretty simple. Got a nice uh, rubber cover to it, nice threaded cap. So that's on the front, and then right behind it, this is going to be our tether connection. So that 200 meter tether will connect here. Uh, has a loop that runs around this back so you're not putting any strain on the connector itself and then this goes up to our e-reel and then to our controller. 4K video camera on the front with uh, two LED lights on the front. Uh, lights are a little close to the camera so I'm not quite sure um, how much we'll use these lights but it does have, if you look on the front or on the top, has these two rails here and there are threaded connections to allow for accessories. That's where that GoPro mount can attach to that's uh, on the other side of the box. Uh, one other thing we've seen is you can add arms uh, out to the side and have accessory lights if you want to get lights farther away from the 4K video. On the bottom, got a few other uh, ports down here. Looks like that's a sensor port, maybe for depth and pressure. And then there's another port here uh, for other accessories. They also sell a manipulator arm, grabber arm, um, another light that you can add uh, on top. That would plug in through here and then is controllable with the uh, top side remote. So that's kind of neat. And then uh, one of the other features of this drone is that it does have a replaceable battery. So the battery is located in the back here. Um, it has a nice locking clip here. Just a second to unlock. And then this back strap comes off. And it also has two locking pins here. Pull the locking pins. battery slides out and the battery is uh, interchangeable then. So if you did have a long mission or a long thing uh, that you needed to do underwater, you could get multiple batteries and uh, have replaceable batteries for the ROV itself. Uh, looks like it goes together very nice. There's where you can see the locking tabs on each side. Um, nice aluminum housing 
And uh, supposedly they're saying uh, on one charge, uh, this gets uh, three or so hours of runtime uh, on the unit itself. So should be pretty good. Has uh, double O-ring seals on the inside here, so should be pretty good. The uh, ROV itself is rated to 100 meters. Push it in, locks in, and then this strap comes over, clicks in, locks it down and keeps that battery very secure. So, uh, overall, nice little uh, ROV. Looking forward to using it. Um, looks like it might work out pretty well for us. I'm going to pack this back up and then we'll switch over and look at the uh, e-reel and see once how the e-reel is. So this is what I believe is the e-reel. We'll go ahead and open this package up. Yep, so here is the packaging for the chasing e-reel. Um, helps wind up that 200 meter tether um, automatically versus manually having to do it. So we'll go ahead and open up the box. And here's the e-reel itself. A little bit of paperwork on it. Make some room here. And then also in the package is a smaller tether. So you've got your 200 meter tether that'll wind up on the reel itself, has the plug in here for it. And then the nice thing is the short tether plugs into the side of the e reel unit and then into the controller. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. It gives you a little bit of tether away from uh, the reel itself. Then a uh, dedicated charger. This is a single plug charger, so if you just want to charge the reel, there's a charger that's included with that. And a manual handle. It allows you, uh, um, if needed to, if you want to reel by hand, it allows you to reel by hand here. Something interesting to see, not only does it wind it up, it helps guide it so that uh, you get a nice even reel of the tether and keeps the tether managed as it comes back in. So it should be really nice when you have 200 meters of tether out in the water and trying to retrieve that. I'm hoping this will uh, do the trick for us. It does have uh, some controls on the side to run it and power it on as well as uh, three different speed levels for how fast it retrieves the, uh, the tether. So, nice little unit overall. Looking forward to getting this all put together and then uh, hopefully trying it out yet this winter uh, it is December here in Michigan, so ice is going to be happening real soon on the lakes. So hopefully we'll be able to get it in the water. If not, uh, looking forward to getting this out on the shipwrecks this spring um, off the Thumb Area Bottomland Preserve. Hoping that uh, with the 4K video and the ability for the ROV to move in any direction, uh, looking to get some better video quality and uh, potentially be able to use this for uh, the photogrammetry work that we're doing on the shipwrecks. So, looking forward to it. Uh, tune back in and we'll see what's how this thing functions and we'll let you know. Thank you for joining us. Bye now.